Everybody, I'm Kim, um, CEO, like she said, of g and Wealth Enterprises. Thank you guys for coming out today. Uh, I'll be speaking about uh, real estate and mortgages. I've been in a, in a loan office for two years now. I uh, really understand in depth of how to purchase a home, building wealth through real estate. A lot of people want to buy the home, want to buy homes, but they don't think they qualify for. I'm gonna teach you guys today how to qualify for a home, where you can get free money from the people just giving away to people to buy homes. Um, and yeah, yeah, please, absolutely, thank you. percent of your retirement. You have $100,000, you buy a home, right? Section 8 will pay $1,000 a month for that home. It's 12 months in a year. That, that, that home is sitting in your IRA, right? Now it's getting 12 percent a year with somebody, as long as somebody sitting in that home. Because you're getting $1,000 a month. And now, you're now you're, uh, your retirement is growing 12 percent a year instead of 3, 5, percent whatever. So we're going to get started with the quick intro from our budgeting and debt reduction speaker, Ms. Stephanie Houston. Okay. Right, I'll just introduce myself quickly. Um, my name is Stephanie Houston. I am from Houston, Texas. I went to school at Cy Springs. And um, I got into finance when I was at Howard University. And I learned a bunch of things about money that I did not necessarily grow, learn, uh, learn growing up in, uh, in Katy. And there were lessons that I felt like needed to be shared for our community to not only make better decisions and choices about their money, but to learn how to invest and grow their money for future generations. So I will be talking to you guys about budgeting, making sure you're doing the right thing with your money, and reducing debt. Hawkins. I'm the CEO of Fig Restoration. It is a credit consulting company and uh, one of the reasons that I want to be here is because I understand that without credit or lack of credit it can make us or break us in our lifestyle that we decide to live. So one of the things I like to do is just give back to the community and make sure that we all have the tools that we need in order to have a great lifestyle and move forward with those things that we're trying to accomplish. So hope to see you in the session. And really, and really, you 
don't have to, it doesn't, you don't even have to look at all three credits. You can always just even see if there's an inaccuracy on it. You can still check it and see from right from your records. Um, because all, all three credit bureaus are three separate entities. Yeah. They don't always necessarily report the same thing. Um, they may update at different times and they don't work in, you know, together. So, you know, always, that's why you need to have access to all three of your credit reports. Um, some people say, I want to build my credit, especially when you're trying to get homes, because they're going to take that middle score. You need to know what's going on with all three of your credit reports. Another thing, make sure your personal information is correct on all of those credit bureaus um, and credit reports. You can dispute personal information. If you see that you have inaccurate information, because a lot of people get the names messed up, the date of birth, go through and clean it up. Tell them, hey, this is the only information that should be reporting as it pertains to my personal information. Send your um, ID in and a current um, utility bill that shows where you live because they're going to use that for verification and validation of your personal Attention, identity. Thank you. All right. And next up, we have the ABCs of investments with Ms. Leslie Stock Lopez, president of Star Wealth Group Management. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you. Um, yes, my name is Leslie Stock Lopez. Uh, my company is Star Group Wealth Management, and we help people with their money. And today, I'm going to be talking about the ABCs of investments. Uh, it, it, in order to invest, you got to be comfortable just with the basics of it. So I'm going to go over some of those basics. I'm going to allow you to understand your ideal allocation, so you walk away with some great knowledge today. And I look forward to talking to all of you. Thank you. everyone. My name is Tony Harris Taylor and I'm the business mom of this group. I'm so proud of Brittany and Ken for putting this together. I believe they did this because they love you and they love your family. And so I want you to protect your family legally and your, if you have a business, protect your business and your identity. And that's what I'll be speaking about in my breakout session. So the legal protection is expensive, unresponsive, and unaccountable. So what that means is if I get a bad attorney, who am I call? If I pay them a retainer and they don't return my phone calls, there's no accountability. So Legal Shield came up with a innovative way to get legal services, and that is on an app. CPA. How you guys doing? My name is uh, Jeremy Leach. I'm a certified public accountant in the state of Texas, and I will be speaking about uh, taxes and business structures for anybody interested in creating their own business. Sean Thomas, a founder of Investing Yourself, it's an after school program that teaches uh, our youth about saving, credit, debt, uh, basically all the things to do with financial literacy, as well as investing in the stock market. Uh, so today, uh, in our session, uh, your kids are going to learn how to budget, as well as learn how to invest. Okay. 
I'm gonna buy it, some dope shirts, maybe, maybe video, maybe video games in a Galaxy S. He's well, gonna buy some sketches. <laughs> I'm gonna buy a, I'm gonna buy like the new Galaxy S2. Okay, all right, so. Just give me a random number. So how much you think all that's gonna cost? Uh, each well, month? let's let's see. Well, Galaxy S T costs one thousand dollars. But you're not gonna buy it every month. Okay, so let's see. And we're talking about clothes. Oh. Like how many shoes you gonna get? You like the shoes? You gonna buy every every paycheck? You gonna buy some shoes? Uh, pro, uh, not every paycheck, but maybe I don't know, like twice a month. Yeah, as she mentioned, Blake, aka Professor B. I used to work in financial aid at Prairie View, um, working with students incoming into college, and I felt passionately about getting students that knowledge before they actually get to college. So I resigned and created my own platform, and um, I'll be talking to the students today about maximizing the college experience from the standpoint of financial aid and understanding how that works. I just asked Andy, sorry for my voice, I just got it back, but today I will be teaching you guys about business credit, business funding, and the structure that goes along with it. Sometimes you want to start a business, but sometimes it's best to buy a business, so I'm going to teach you that today, okay? Funding. So, here we go. So, the <clears throat> first thing you want to do is make sure you personally guarantee your business plus make sure your business credit is together. When you, The difference between personal guarantee and your business credit is personal guarantee is just saying that you're going to personally guarantee that you're going to, if anything happens, that you will take care of whatever's backlogged. With business credit, you're doing it directly through your business and your business only. So that's the first thing you need to know when it comes down to funding. If you're really going to do it through a personal guarantee or directly through your business. The second thing you want to do, the second thing you want to do is with a vendor. I'm going to give you three vendors for free that you can really uh, go ahead and sign up with. Now, they may ask for your social security number, but don't give them your social security number. Give them your EIN number, which is your employer identification number. So the first company is Quill. The second company is Staples. And the third company is Office Depot. Okay, so they call me zero because it's a placeholder for the people in the world. Uh, when it comes to a number line, there are negative numbers and there are positive numbers. See that as negative people and positive people. I am zero. I am a placeholder for all the people in the world. I, I keep them a separate. I keep them apart. And I keep everybody in a line. I keep them together and I keep them uh, separate as well. It's a placeholder. I got my inspiration. I got my inspiration from the two people who rest their souls. I would like three volunteers. <laughs> of course. Of course. Stand right here in front of me. Wait, what are we gonna do? Facing you, facing him. Not facing the camera. All right. Tell them what you learned today. Uh, I learned a lot about financing, financial aid, college, scholarships, grants, uh, how to build my own business, how to keep my business in line, and how to make sure my business and how to, you know, go on from the future after I graduate high school. And the number one way to success is show up. So if you don't show up, you can't. I don't know how you're going to be successful. And put yourself forward, like talk for yourself. Don't be shy. Don't be too mellow. Just be yourself. Talk and like understand people and learn how to learn. Don't be wanting nothing for money. Just learn. You're not gonna get money all the time, basically. 